Today we're going to talk about cleaning your blinds and shades. One of the first questions we are asked when someone makes a purchase from us is how do I clean my product? And the answer, of course, depends on what you purchase. For example, if you purchase a screen shade, you simply need to lower it, wipe it with a clean cloth, and let it dry. Wood, faux wood, and metal mini blinds should be wiped with a dry cloth or a duster. Honeycomb shades or silhouette shades can also be wiped with a dry cloth or a duster. To get inside the honeycombs or the lubers, you can use compressed air or a hair dryer on a cool setting. We do not recommend a vacuum cleaner as it can suck the fabric inside the vacuum. But to get your shades really clean, you need to bring them to our expert at Victor Shade. This is Jim Feeler, and he has been our cleaning and repair manager for over 40 years. There's nobody better. Many of the products purchased from us at Victor Shade Company, and even many that aren't, can be cleaned in our ultrasonic tank. It's like a jewelry cleaner, but of course, much bigger. We use a special solution that won't harm your shades, and hang them up to dry when finished. For screen shades and vinyl roller shades, Jim will scrub them gently and carefully to remove dirt and then place them in the ultrasonic tank. Other products are gently cleaned in our ultrasonic tank from the beginning. Real wood blinds are handled very differently. Because they are real wood, they cannot be placed in the ultrasonic tank. So they must be taken completely apart, cleaned with Murphy's oil, slat by slat, before being re -ported. Unfortunately, not every product can be cleaned. For example, a room darkening shade with a mylar center or very old shades cannot be cleaned. They can fall apart. Also, metal mini blinds purchased from big box stores off the shelf can lose their paint when placed in our ultrasonic tank and cannot be cleaned by us. If you ever wonder how much a difference cleaning your shades here at Victor Shade can make, here's an example of what the shade looked like when it was brought in. And after Jim worked his magic and cleaned the shade, this is what it looks like now. Give us a call if you have any questions and we'll be happy to help you. Just ask for Jim.